guys, I wanted to uh, shoot a video for you today on my 2016 Kia Optima SXL. Um, my lease is going to be coming up here pretty soon. And I'm not sure if I'm going to keep my car or possibly get another car. The thing I've been doing, though, is looking around and uh, watching uh, YouTube videos to see if there's anything that I think I would like more than this car. And this car, I really, really like this car a lot. It uh, has a ton of features on it. Um, auto hold, uh, electronic parking brake, um, all the, uh, the, the really nice stereo system, the Harman Kardon 10 speaker system. Uh, 630 watts and then I have the two Alpine subwoofers 10 inch in the trunk I'll show you those in a second and uh, so the stereo sounds fantastic and that's something that's very important to me um, also just uh, really like the rims too 18 inch not too big not too small just perfect this one has a 2.0 liter turbo it's a small turbo uh, engine but it's got a dual scroll um, turbo charger on it not a dual turbo but dual scroll so it winds up real fast you get 260 pounds of torque at three uh 1350 rpm which is just fantastic you get all your torque all at once and I've got the 210 inch sub strapped in pillows on the side so it won't slide back and forth has a nice size trunk even though I took took a lot of the uh, trunk space up um, show you a quick look inside anyway some of the cars that I've been looking at I've been looking at the Dodge Charger the RT um, went and looked at them down at the dealership didn't test drive one but just not sold on it a lot of money for um, you know you get the v8 engine yeah you get more horsepower it's a heavier car than this and uh, I believe this one weighs in at about 3,500 pounds and it just seems to me that I'm gonna sacrifice a lot of gas mileage I'm getting 20 miles to the gallon on this one and I'm just not sure that I would want to give all this up. The diamond stitch, not the leather seats. Right here, nice armrest there with a couple cup holders. And the armrest doesn't sit all the way down, so it sits up where you need it. I like that. Seats are super comfortable, super high quality. And uh, then for a little while, I was looking at the... Uh, Camaro the SS again with the V8 and uh, again sacrificing the gas mileage and really only two seats when you put the seat back where you need it in the front it's right up against the the uh, rear seat so you got no here look at all the leg room I have and this seat is back before because it has that feature when you turn the car off it goes back so this seat will go up quite a bit more when i uh, put the start button on and so that was kind of a yeah v8 kind of a cool looking car but no room and uh i really just haven't been able to find a lot of cars that i really want to look at here and this one has a nice eight inch touch screen on it it uh, has uh, dual zone climate control, has all the redundant buttons. Um, you can do the touch screen or you can use these redundant buttons for all of the stuff that you can get on the screen there. Has a six speed automatic transmission, works flawlessly. Um, there's the electronic parking brake. Uh, you get a 360 uh, degree view around the car when you put it in reverse even if you're going forward you can push that view button and you'll get the 360 yeah when it slows down to about 10 miles an hour that'll kick on heated and ventilated seats the auto hold i was telling you one of my favorite features um, when you push that you um, go ahead and uh, when you come to a stop like at a stoplight you just push that the screen up here will light up it says auto hold and it'll go green 
and then you can let your foot off the gas and while you're sitting at the stoplight you don't have to have your foot on the gas it keeps the brake lights on and it keeps the brakes on then when you're ready to go you just give it a push here and you're off to go and something I really like I don't have to keep my foot on the brake at a stoplight it's it's a it's a luxury and I really dig it and then coming up here the steering wheel is a nice leather wrapped steering wheel and then you get the uh, the Bluetooth over here and then the so you can turn the volume up or change channel uh, change songs or change channels when you're using that and then over here oh another great feature the adaptive cruise control you can set it for how many car lengths you want and when you're going down the highway let's say you set it to 75 and then um, you set it down to 75 and you're driving along and the car in front of you is going 65 automatically slows down for you you don't have to touch anything then when that car moves over or speeds up you resume resume back to your speed and what's really cool about that is that when you um it could even come to a complete stop someone could go to zero and it'll keep the car links that you want ahead of it there's the three speakers up there for the arm and garden system and then two on each door here and then on the back two doors as well um, but then it'll just it come to a complete stop the cars go 75 and you can resume back to 75 and then of course you can always reset it if you need to um, something oh yeah I want to show you a nice flat bottom steering wheel here I like that a lot it has a sport tuned suspension on it which is really cool um, over here uh, has lane departure warning um, which uh, I really like uh, actually blind spot monitoring I'm sorry blind spot monitoring which I really like that has saved me a lot of times um, then this lane departure warning if you're moving over it's just it doesn't nudge you back it's just a beep I never use it um, and then this also has forward collision control so if you um, car stops in front of you real fast or someone's crossing the street whatever it uh, will um, stop the car for you automatically with the brakes and again that saved me a few times something here too I like when you push in the um, button to lock it the mirrors come in and so I like I said I've been looking at other cars but on YouTube and I just those were the couple cars I narrowed down but I just can't justify it um, when I go to buy this car I'm gonna owe about twenty thousand dollars on it um, I'll refinance that put a nice down payment down uh, do it for three years my um, payment should be fairly low and um, then th that's what I'll do probably end up keeping this one um, other cars I I thought that I might like but the, also the turbo has 245 horsepower I didn't mention that I'll come back here that's the turbo right there underneath that heat shield and then also um, the gold there that's all the turbo and then the inner cooler which is kind of cool that keeps the turbo cool is right down there it's all aluminum and then everything is just really well thought out on this car and this car I only have 9,000 miles on it so there's another reason why I think I should keep it it's like brand new and um, yeah i'm just still looking at youtube still looking at cars again this car is really handles nice i work and live up on top of palomar mountain california so there's about six miles seven miles of twisties going up the road and um i really like doing that um also i was going to tell you guys too that I, on my channel find videos by jwb um, I have a complete Harman Kardon review uh, where I uh, show all the speakers, show the subs, and then I turn them on and listen to songs. Um, it really sounds fantastic with the um, headphones on, if you can do it like that. But even if not, it still sounds really good. Um, the bass, something I didn't say about the bass, like on the... It, it's just a feeling, not a sound that you get through the car. And something that's really cool with that too is 
when the uh, subs are, you can listen to any kind of music you like, country, classical, it all has bass in it, rock, uh, of course the rap sounds the best on it. Um, and I just, the uh, charger has the Beats audio, uh, 10 speaker, 530 watts, with a really cheesy looking 110 inch sub in the back, I kind of hate it really. And I think if I got the car, I would omit the stereo system and just go with a basic one. And um, I don't know, guys. I just, I mean, these subs are so professionally installed. They have the nice box that they're in. And um, I just, anyway, so it really sounds good. Um, show you the subs one more time nice 10 inch alpines and these really sound good deeper anyway you can listen to any kind of music you want that's what i was getting at and it still sounds good um another feature i was going to show you on this car is when you come back you hear the beeping and then the trunk releases automatically so if you have groceries in your hand or something like that another feature you don't have to put your I see some of them you got to put your foot under here this one just senses the key when you come to the back um, yeah and then when you come up on the car the mirrors automatically open tells you that the keys in range and you can go ahead this um, unlocks the door and locks it it doesn't have the feature actually I would like that maybe lock it here but then have the feature where you do you pit here and it comes back anyway no big deal it's not a deal breaker to me um yeah and then the camaro had the bose speaker uh bose system but i was always told no highs no lows it must be a bose and this one has definitely nice features on that side of it so guys i just wanted to tell you you know check out my other videos on the car i have some more in-depth ones oh yeah something i didn't mention on this one too is this has the panoramic sunroof so when you come in uh, i'll show you that real quick because that's something that i really like um so i'll start it up here it's got the push button start here which is nice too so on this one you um you got your button here. Is it cool that it's like all that? Is it too soon? Opens up like that. Cause I know that it's Okay. And then the sunroof. So I mean where are you gonna get that at, right? And then you get the nice open view. Of course California. Palm trees, Southern California, San Diego area. And give you a little closer shot at the seats there. This one also has a wireless charging system here. I don't really like the wireless charging system. I feel like it um, doesn't charge fast enough. So I have my own charger in here, which charges great. And I can keep my phone right here so I can do my Pandora Premium and um, can change like from 50 Cent Radio to Metallica Radio to Conway Twitty Radio and then I just have to push it there. And then when it's charging, it will just come right up and just plug into there. So that's cool. And then it has a lot of uh, USB ports, 12 volt, right there. Yeah. And then this, I kind of like the way that shuts too. And then it has a nice big opening here and then you get a usb plug here as well and then it has a little indentation there where you can put the wire so you could have multiple people hooking everything up in here so and then the sunroof coming closed just bring it here and it has a nice suede top it feels really good super super soft and then that's it i mean it opens that fast and it's just fantastic well guys that's my view uh my lease i'll do another video if i keep it or decide to sell it so uh decide to get something different as always thanks for watching my channel five it fine videos by jwb thank you